Okay. So, I bought um, seven of these super caps off of eBay from a vendor in China. And they're supposed to be 500 farads, but when I tested them, they were a lot closer to 400. And so I contacted the seller, and they said, um, "Well, send me a." Or they first they said, "Well, I'll test them again." So I told them that I tested them twice, and they says, "Okay, send a video of the problem." So now I'm making a video, and I'll show you in this video how to test a high capacitance supercapacitor since obviously most voltmeters that test capacitance don't go anywhere near this high. So the seller was KWOTOP2014. My name is Jesse. I was the poor buyer, the poor feller who bought these. I think what happened, because all seven of them were very close to each other, but all around 400. So I think what happened was the factory had a bad run, because that always happens at factories. And so they dumped them all gave them to an employee or sold them for scrap or something and of course they've never been installed so they look brand new so some enterprising individual thought well I'll just sell them on eBay for as new even though they never they never even passed factory inspection which I guess that's why there's no factory inspection sticker on there anyway that's that's irrelevant maybe they don't always have a sticker but these tested low so I will show you how to test a uh, large capacitance capacitor Basically, um, the formula is that the uh, to the current times the time over the uh, farads equals the voltage. So if you charge it for, you know, this actually it's more complex. It's the t um, time delta give times I over F gives voltage delta. But we're going to start from zero volts at it for our test, and then we're going to charge with one amp, and so with for each farad, if it's one farad and one amp in one second, it'll rise one volt. So another way to do this is if we charge it for a certain amount of time at a certain current and we get a certain voltage, that will give us the farads. But since we're going to charge it at one uh, one amp, then if it were one farad, it would take um, one volt one second to rise one volt. But since it's supposed to be 500 farads, it should take 500 seconds to rise one volt. But I'll show you that it takes closer to 400 seconds to rise one volt with a current of one amp. So here are the uh, here are all seven of them. But we'll just be testing one now. I did test all of them, and they all are very similar to each other. Okay, this is the one we're going to test. So this is the volts, and this is the amps. So I have a 1 amp constant current power supply off this way. And here's my negative wire, and here's my positive wire, and then it goes through this amp meter. And this is just a phone here. I'm using it as a, a stopwatch. And here, so here's the positive for the capacitor. Here's the negative. And this is just a voltmeter. So we're going to start by hooking up the voltmeter. And you can see that the capacitor has 0 .00 volts in it, so it's pretty much empty. And now we've got our negative there. So I'm going to put the negative here. And here's the positive. Now you can see when I hook this up, an amp starts flowing. I hit start. Okay, and the voltage starts rising. The clock is counting. And we're pushing in one amp, exactly one amp. So now it's just, we got to wait. This video should be about seven minutes long, give or take, because I don't know how long I talked for at the beginning. So now it's just going to be kind of a waiting game. See, we've got a tenth of a volt. And we're at like 30 seconds. So that would extrapolate to about 1 volt at 300 seconds. Roughly. And then when this reaches 1 volt, 
then I'll uh, unhook the positive and stop the clock at the same time. It'll stop charging and that way we'll know how long it took to raise that one volt at the one amp. you also notice that I have the current coming into the capacitor and the voltage measuring this not going through the same clip lead so whatever voltage loss there is in the high current clip leads does not affect the voltage in these because I have these clipped on to the onto the pin down lower so the the one clamps onto the pin down here and the other clamps on up here that gets the most accurate voltage reading Oh, we're, we're almost to half a volt. Look at that. Still pushing an amp. Yep, past a half a volt. I'll get my guitar to play for you while that finishes charging. Looks like we're getting pretty close to the one volt mark. Still pushing an amp. So I just need to get ready to pop this off and stop the clock when that reaches one volt.
There, look at that. Very, very close. 0.997. We'll actually resume. Go a little bit more and stop. Okay, pretty close to 1 volt. And we've got 6 minutes and 10 seconds. So 6 minutes is... Okay, so 6 times... 60 is 360 seconds plus 10 seconds. Well, we'll call it 11 plus 11 seconds. So I'm just doing some math here. Plus 11. That's 370 seconds. So let's see here. Basically, the math for that, where did my fancy pen go? Well, I guess I'll use the next fancy one. Oh, there it is. Okay, so, hmm, I've got the camera backwards here, so this is a little bit awkward. Oh yeah, you can see the current stopped when I unhook that. So, um, basically, well, maybe I'll just get up here, like... Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Alright, so as we can see, that was 6 minutes and 11 seconds to 1 volt. Oh, look, the, that's in the way. See, it's, it's it was 1 volt. Oh, it's going down a little, but anyhow. So, 6 times 60 is 360 and then we add on the 11 seconds and that equals 371 farads so that capacitor there tests to 371 farads which is much much less than the uh, 500 that it was rated at. So, I'll put this back there so you can stare at all those numbers again. And, uh, see, I don't know why that's slowly drooping down like that. Um, it shouldn't droop nearly that fast. It was, it was up to, um, it was up to full voltage a second ago. I'm going to just go resume and hold that on there. Push it back up again. I'm going to push it up a bit extra that time. And then okay, stop. And see, this is still six minutes and a half, so that's 360 that's that's 400 seconds right there so that would be 400 farads if it hadn't kept you know if it had um, taken that long without having without keep drooping down or sliding or uh, leaking down like that so so it's somewhere it's somewhere between 371 and 400 and it's got and it's got a lot of internal leakage, which is not good because then whatever you're using it for will um, go dead pretty quickly. So, uh, well, again, this was done especially for KWOTOP 2014. It was done by the poor old eBay buyer Jesse, and. Uh, Oh yeah, oh I forgot, here's a neat little chart I drew. Basically, uh, with a constant current into a capacitor, it's a linear, uh, a straight line on the chart because um, if you, you know, if you double the time, you double the voltage, or if you double the farads, you have the voltage, basically, for a given current and time. So, okay, well, that is my story. Hopefully this helps.